Any other projects in the near future to help? Um, I, I guess we have uh, a fundraiser coming up um, 20... February 20th? February 20th, so we will collect some money again and then send back to, to help. That's good. You know, I, I know, I mean, like here even at MCC, I know uh, as an advisor also for student senate and student government, mm -hmm. the student senate decided to uh, organize also, uh, also a fund uh, relief uh, for Haiti and and as a matter of fact they ask all student organizations to participate and they give them the choice uh, like uh, either you know you donate some money towards mm -hmm. that uh, relief fund or for example you come up with your own event okay. and whatever money you raise it goes towards that account and so far really uh, we collected around one thousand dollar for oh, that that's relief. Great. That's we great. we are continuing with this too, and and uh, I know we still have some student organizations that are planning to do more events and and raise uh, money, and uh, you know Muscatine people, you know if uh, any of you would like to participate in this relief fund. Uh, you can contact me. Uh, as a matter of fact, uh, all the money that we're going to raise uh, will be processed through the Salvation Army. So everything will be sent to the Salvation Army. We are trying to finalize this, uh, as a matter of fact, within a couple weeks from now. So in case, if, if, uh, if you have any idea, if you have any event that you are trying to organize to raise some fund, relief fund, please call me or email me. Uh, towards the end of the show, you will see my phone number and my email on the screen. So I really appreciate any help that you can do for, you know, for the people of Haiti. With that, uh, I would like uh, right now to give each one of you a minute. And, uh, you know, you share whatever you would like to share with us, with Muscatine uh, people also. Uh, and uh, you know, it's we we'll start with you, and so how about yeah? Um, I will. I would like to thank you to to invite me there. And coming to to USA, it's already a really great experience for me. And I would like to share how I feel about this tragedy. I'm not in my country. I'm feel scared. I think this tragedy is already taking my, not only my dreams away, but the Asian people's dreams and hope. Now I heard people in AD want, they, they don't want only, they are fighting not only for food, like to, to f try to find food, but also for their life because of, you know, the uh, prison killers are on the street and they sleep on the street so they are fighting for their life also and what I can say I'm feel the world cannot explain my feeling about this tragedy that's going on in my city yeah it I I, I understand that is really a tough I'm sure you guys are going through tough moments right now I mean dealing with this tragedy but remember you know uh, uh, I'm sure things will be okay in the future and uh, we hope uh, that everything works well uh, for you know the people of Haiti and I'm glad to have you also on my show too uh, with that just wait uh, I mean, would you yeah. share something with oh. us also? You give yeah. you a minute. <laughs> <laughs> I would say thank you for having me on the show. I really appreciate that. And then I would say thank you to the people of Marketing for doing a fundraiser, especially the college, Marketing College. Thank you to the student for those good ideas, you know, trying to raise some money to send to AAT. And then I will ask the people of Masketing to pray for Haiti. We really need some prayer now because God is the is everything. God can do everything. So I will ask everyone to pray for Haiti. To pray God 
to make everything get better for life to start again for the people of Haiti. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's glad and my pleasure to have you also on the show. Thank you. Nadesh? Um, I want to say thank you to you because you, you think about us and invite us to come to the show. And I say thank you for everyone who tried to help us uh, in many ways. Um, also, um, I say thank you to God for keeping my, our family okay. And I will ask um, people of Muscatine to keep praying, um, keep doing everything that and how they can help us so they can do everything. And I hope God will, God will do everything for us mm. so hey, they can rise again. Thank you. Thank you. Thank I, will, you. I will take. 30 seconds in your time. Go, uh, go just, ahead. Just to thank <laughs> our coordinator, Susan. She she drives us here, and then she's waiting for us. She's always there for us. And then I would like to thank our classmate, and then Tati, uh, our coordinator also. So I would like to thank them for everything they have done for us so far. So oh, thank, thank you, you Susan. Thank <laughs> you. Thank you. Thank you. I, I, I definitely uh, agree with you. I mean, Susan, your, uh, your advisor is a great lady. I know I have been working yeah, she, with her for <laughs> years and years. I mean, uh, uh, I, I'm sure uh, Susan will never think twice to help any of you. I mean, she's, uh, she's a great advisor. Yeah, she I mean, is. really, she's a great advisor. Uh, I would like to thank you for uh, coming to my oh, show here. Thank you. And, uh, and I just want to remind Muscatine people that this is show number four for MCC TV International. And I'm hoping this show is making it different. I'm hoping that this show is making it different in the sense that you are learning more about the different cultures and about our international students who leaves everything behind them and come here to the United States to be part of our colleges here and learn. Uh, what we teach our students and take this experience back again to their native countries and share it with others. That's definitely a great thing. And as I always say, as I always say, you know, you can call me or email me at jdebit at eicc.edu or you can call me at 288-6064. Till next time, Muscatine. Bye-bye.